friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. Today we're going to be talking about um, our Ipsy boxes for December 2023 and seeing if we can find a little sneak peek here of what we might be seeing in those boxes. If you've been around my channel, you'll know I love to cover spoilers often. I do unboxings here, um, the try-ons and spoilers on a lot of different beauty boxes. I'm a big beauty box channel, so if that interests you, you'll want to stick around. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and dig in and see what we might be able to expect in Ipsy for December. Okay, so before I get started, keep in mind that I do put timestamps down in the caption for you, so if you're particularly interested interested in glam bag versus boxy charm versus beauty boost, whatever, you can skip right to that section that you're interested in. And so I'm going to start off with glam bag and go from there. A few things that I'd like to try and I'm excited about. I will say that in first glance at everything, I feel like at least we, we have a little more makeup this time. I wouldn't say anything is super wowing me though, to be honest with you, but there's a couple things that I'd be interested in. Okay. So starting with glam bag, the first thing that we have, which this interests me is uh, Tarte Shape Tape Corrector. I have actually wanted to try this. I love Shape Tape in general. Um, their concealer, you know, that's kind of what Tarte is very like, that's probably their number one product. <laughs> probably their best selling product, I think, is the Shape Tape. And so they've come out with a corrector. Now, from the picture of Ipsy, it looks like it's probably going to be in a very like dark orange color, which orange is really good for correcting and covering dark age spots because it cancels out like blue and purple tones that tend to be under your eyes. Um, I don't know if they'll have different options in, options in shade ranges because some people who are more fair skinned, this might be a little too dark. Um, I don't know that part, but it looks like it'll probably be more for uh, orange correctors for under eye treating the under eyes. So as opposed to like a green corrector or something for like redness, looks like it's going to be specifically for under eye bags. Um, and typically in a full size product, this will retail for $30. Also, I want to mention if you follow me, you know, if you've seen my community tab and have seen Ipsy's announcements, just another reminder, they are going up on their prices. And I think it does start on this December box. So um, a few of you could lock in your boxes. Actually, you can still lock them in. And I think it's until November 30th. On the Glam Bag, you can sign up for a whole year annual membership. And I think you can still lock it in for your, what was it, $13 here? Um, but it's going to be going up to $14 now. But what they are doing is they're adding a full-size product to the Glam Bag. So currently, you know, it's been all deluxe sizes. You get five small, you know, deluxe sizes in there. And now um, it's going to be one full size, I think. So I think four deluxe and then one full size, if I'm understanding it correctly. Now, I don't know, like, there's going to be, you'll see in a minute, there's a brush, a makeup brush in here. I don't know if they count a makeup brush as the full size item or not. I don't know. And I don't think they've told us in these spoilers which one is going to be the full size. I'm hoping that doesn't mean that the makeup brush is what they're considering the full size, guys. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. The next thing is the Trace Loose Beauty um, Illusion Volumizing and Lengthening Mini Mascara. The fact that they're saying mini leads me to think this is not the full size one. <laughs> so, um, and Trace Loose is pretty good. I finally got to try it. I was excited. I think for a full size one, it retails 18, if I'm correct. So I don't know what the mini is, but... Um, you know, it's a pretty like affordable, nice brand. I like, I like their stuff. Next we have, I don't know this brand at all. Nina Skincare. I think it's a face oil. Excuse the noises outside guys. It's, I'm loving it here. In, I live in Florida and it's always hot. And you know, today it's finally like the last couple of days, it's been nice and like cold and rainy, which most people are like, ugh, rain cold. We all want Florida weather, but I'm opposite right now. Having gotten back from Scotland, I just, I'm still craving that weather of like cozy, cold weather. And it's finally feeling like fall today. So I have the windows open, enjoying the sound of the rain outside, but I'm also picking up on all the cars going by. So sorry about that. Anyway. Okay. Let me get back to, <laughs> to the spoilers here. Nina skincare face oil. This retails normally $35. Um, just includes, you know, natural oils to really hydrate the skin includes vitamin E and Bakuchiol, which Bakuchiol is basically a plant-based form of retinol, just so you know. 
Next we have Kavos, which I really don't know this one either. And this looks like a new, new brand in Ipsy. I haven't seen this one show up before. And this is Kavos NYC Single Blush. I could not find the retail price on their website or anywhere. So I don't know if this is just an exclusive Ipsy thing. I kind of personally don't like it when they do that because then you don't know where to go find it again if you like it or, you know. But, um, and as an influencer, I don't like it because I can't link the products for you guys and show you where to go get it if you like it with not going through Ipsy. But anyway, um, so this is going to be powder blush form, kind of a peachy hint, uh, peachy hue tint. But it's made with built-in antioxidants. Go to Cola, I don't know if I'm saying that right, which is apparently a medicinal uh, plant like for healing properties. And so this also supposedly will give you a collagen boost and really help with like the fine lines and wrinkles, a lot of a moisture built in. So I'm like, are we putting on makeup and treating the skin at the same time? That sounds, that sounds pretty cool. Even though I'm not familiar with this blush, I like the sound of it. Okay, and then we have Shanna B Miami. We have seen this brand before. Um, I actually, I have liked everything I've tried by them, but this is the eyeshadow brush I was talking about. So this will be a blending brush, a dome blending eyeshadow brush. Retails for $18 with them. This is basically just, you know, for the blending part of your eyeshadow. Okay, next we have Ahava, something like that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Y'all know that I tend to butcher names sometimes. Extreme Radiance Lifting Mask. Now I noticed that this retails for $49, so uh, seems like it's kind of a legit thing, but I am absolutely not familiar with it. It is supposedly like a firming mask and made with built-in argon oil peptide supposed to just really help with all of those aging issues like me so this actually sounds like the mask for me so interesting but I've just never heard of it and the last thing we have is Ace Beauté um, a lip gloss which you know we see Ace Beauté show up Ace Beauté and Iconic London both of those show up in like just about every Ipsy month so yeah um, this one's gonna be kind of a peach um, color peach lip gloss I think it retails around like 13 14 dollars depending. Um, so that's everything we're seeing for Glam Bag. <clears throat> like I said, a good bit of makeup this time, so I'm glad. It's just, I, you know, not a lot excites me. I think the, uh, the Tarte correctors, I would really love to try those. I definitely would be, that's my number one that I would want. I wouldn't mind the, uh, the Tres Loose, but I have so much mascara now. That wouldn't be, you know, my priority. So, but yeah, really... I don't know what you guys think, but all right, going to move on. Let's talk about BoxyCharm next. Okay, I must say that there's a couple of things in here that do excite me. Um, the first one we're going to start off with is the Biro Proberry Pore Refining Toner. Um, now, let me ask you guys, I've seen Biro show up in our spoilers a couple times, but I haven't heard of anybody getting them. Let me know if you've gotten it in the past boxes, because it's like, this is something I see, but then when you guys come on and tell me what all you got in your box and everything, I just, I haven't seen anybody else getting it. So I'm just like, are they just trying to tease us? What's going on here? Because Biro's really good. This particular toner retails for $58. This is a clarifying toner. It's supposed to kind of help with like unclogging pores and help with excess oil, but at the same time, leaving the skin very hydrated. Definitely one I'm excited about and would love to get. Um, then another one that I really would like to get is this Rim Beauty Midnight Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the shades Smitten Kitten. So this, if you're not aware, is Ariane Day, Ariana Grande's um, makeup line. I've heard mixed reviews on it, on like the, the eyeshadows and everything, but I've definitely been wanting to do it, and I almost picked it up and didn't. I don't know why, because I wanted to try for myself, so I'd love to get it if they're making it available. Now these usually retail for $24. Um, but yeah, definitely have wanted to check it out. It's supposed to be talc free and blendable, all of that. These colors are pretty like, you know, everyday colors. It looks like they've got a little bit of like maybe some pink in there, but you know, some neutrals, a little smoky. So um, kind of your standard shades that I think would work for most people. All right, next we have this um, Adote, Adate, I'm probably butchering it as usual. You guys might have to teach me about this one. I'm not familiar with it. However, it retails for $78. So I'm like, okay, this has to be something legit. Don't know about it at all though. So let me know if you know about it and um, yeah, share a little more details on it for us. This is a retinol and hyaluronic acid 
Renewing Serum. So supposed to be helping with blemishes and some of those, you know, anti-aging properties. So sounds like something that would benefit me, though I don't really have a problem as much with blemishes, but the anti-aging side. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm curious about it. So interesting. Um, and we are still seeing like a little less skincare, it seems, and more makeup this time around in the spoilers. So hopefully for us makeup lovers. Next, like I mentioned before, we always get Iconic London, and here is Iconic London again, the Enrich and Elevate Mascara. Um, this has like a flexi wand, and it's supposed to create that like fan shape um, in the lashes. I really actually like those and prefer them. I'm loving the Benefit Fan Fest that we got in an MC Glam Bag a couple months ago. Like, it has become one of my favorite mascaras, so if it's anything like that, I'll love it. And supposedly it also has an active formula in it, Simlash, if it's called that. It's supposed to really help strengthen and help grow them. So it's a mascara, I guess, that's also treating your lashes. So I love it when they have like everything in one like that. And this one does retail for $29. And again, more Ciete London. Um, this is the Brightening Under Eye Perfector. Um, so as opposed to the Tarte, corrector I was talking about that was a straight up like concealer you know makeup this one has skincare too I think it's a little more on the skincare side than it is the makeup side but it does have this tint of like peachy orangey color I think so it's still probably going to help with correcting some but it has vitamin c built in to help brighten under the eyes and hyaluronic acid you know for the hydration so yeah so a little bit different take on the color correcting. Um, and then this one retails for $24. So maybe combined this one with the Tarte, if they give us both, like if you get Boxy and Glam Bag and you got both in there, maybe you could put them together and see if you had really good, bright, corrected under eyes. Okay. And then we also have this Rosy Jane Rosy Travel Spray. I'm assuming this is a perfume. It says fragrant. The normal like travel size retails for $28. And the first few times I'm seeing like perfumes or fragrance show up in Ipsy, um, we had a little sneak peek at that. What was that? Juliet has a gun or something like that. Oops, I wasn't going to say that out loud. Um, but I didn't really see anybody get that one either. So let me know if you got the perfume on the last round. Every, some people were getting excited about it, but then I never heard if people actually got it. Um, and I didn't see it in the more detailed official spoilers later on. So this is another one I'm curious, are, are we really gonna be getting fragrance um, or perfume in our Ipsy? Okay, so a little more about this one. Has a au naturel vibe, apparently. The notes in it are, has like a nude musk, like sweet rose, and also is hypoallergenic. I'm not, you know, y'all know me if you've been around here that I'm not a perfume person, so. <laughs> Okay, then the last one we have is Alamar Cosmetics. We've been starting to see Alamar show up some, and this is the Mammy Brow Styler. It's like a pencil, but it's kind of waxy, I think. Retails for $18, um, creamy formula and whatnot. So that's everything that we could be seeing in BoxyCharm, at least for now. Um, and BoxyCharm also, just so you know, is also going up on the prices. I think it was $28, and now it's going to be going to $30. So keep that in mind as well. Now let's talk about Beauty Boost for a moment. I have seen a spoiler on what the Beauty Boost might be. Okay, this one feels a little less exciting to me after last month's really exciting Huda Beauty palette. Like, was it the Empowered palette before? Now we have a Brow Conditioning Serum, so ABH. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius Conditioning Brow Serum, and it retails for $65. So, I mean, you know, helpful, but I don't know. I'm just not a, like, brow serum person. Whenever I get these serums, like, I keep meaning to use them. You have to be, like, consistent and really keep working at it, and I just always forget to do that. So, I'm not always ex as excited about serums, and I certainly probably would not pay $65 personally for it. But, you know, if you're really interested in growing out your brows, maybe this is an exciting one for you. But supposedly, that's looking like what it might be for Beauty Boost. All right, that's everything, guys, so far that I know. Glam Bag, BoxyCharm, and Beauty Boost. Make sure to stay tuned because they usually do give us more details later in the month. They'll usually tell us what, um, they confirm what the power picks are, and they'll confirm what the choice products are, so the actual ones you get to choose yourself. 
and kind of just give us a little bit more details. They also tend to include what our add-ons will be as well. So I usually bring you at least a part two video, sometimes a part three later in the month on Ipsy Spoilers. So make sure you're watching for those and turn in your notification bells to on so you won't miss them as well as all my other spoilers and you know, reviews and unboxings and lots of fun here. So anyway, hopefully um, that was helpful to you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on this month. I don't feel like it's that exciting, but there's a couple of things personally that I'd like to try. Um, and that wraps it up. So yeah, you guys take care. Hope your boxes end up being great for you and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.